Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the first week of August for you. We're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to attempt to do a you and the other person spread. You pick a side. Both sides could be you. We're going to see whatever comes up. Okay. The first two cards is going to be the connection or the resolution. Then you choose a side. I tend to say this is your side, but if my gut tells me this is your side, I'll say it. But you use your own intuition. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first week of August? So that would be like August 2nd, 3rd to the 9th, 10th. What do we have for Sagittarius? Hangman. Struggling. Struggling to let go. Struggling with something. Having a hard time going through a period of enlightenment, needing a new perspective in some way. You need a new perspective and it's probably a struggle to, you know, get that perspective. Having a hard time. Now this is a surrender. It's letting go. Um, it's learning some kind of a lesson. You are in a period of lesson learning right now. And I feel like it's a big struggle, okay? You're going through a period of growth. This is spiritual enlightenment. And it's not easy, okay? It's really not easy to be in this state, okay? It's not. It's like you're, you're, if you may feel like you're wasting time, like you're in limbo. Why is this happening? I'm sick of it. That kind of energy. You're going through a period of spiritual growth, okay? You're learning some sort of lesson. Maybe about patience, you know? Um... It could be about patience, but I think it's about changing, evolving who you are. You know what I mean? Um, oh, Wheel of Fortune, and things are definitely going to be changing for you. This is positive change, okay? This is good luck, okay? This is being at the right place at the right time. This is something very fortunate. The Wheel of Fortune is fortunate. This is a fortunate change. So you are going to be going through a fortunate change this first week of August. You may struggle with it, though. Okay? This is like a chapter that is ending in your life. Okay? A cycle is ending. It's, this is a 10. It's a completion. It's coming to an end. But I feel like you're going to have a hard time with it. You're having a hard time with this um, change, whatever it is. Page of coins reversed. Eight of coins reversed. Ten of coins. Now, this is all about your stability. It's all about your security. Um, there could be a change in residence here. A change in home. Okay. Uh, you may be in a situation now where you're not it feels like it's unstable obviously it is it's not working out with the eight of coins reversed the eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles reversed this isn't working out maybe it you may be at a dead end you're at the end of this road right you're at the end of this road it's time for a change in residence it's change in home change in your uh maybe it's even a job whatever it is it's, it's time for a change and that says it right here um There's something isn't working out. There's a lack of focus. Lack of follow through. You may not be able to afford it. You know what I mean? Maybe you need to find something more affordable. Um, but this page, a page of pentacles reversed is lack of commitment. Um, somebody doesn't want responsibility. Really isn't interested you know, isn't interested in putting in much effort. So we have, whether it's you or somebody else, we have somebody here that isn't really interested in putting in much effort or in the work that they do. They're just not, I'm not interested in that. Or they're not interested in living where they're living. There's, there's going to be a change and it's going to be a struggle for you. I don't know if this is your side or not. Let's go over here. What's up? What's this person over here? You got two right off the bat. Page of Wands, the world reversed. One more card. Page of Wands is a new exciting opportunity. It really is. Um, 
This is good news or a new offer or an invite coming in. A new opportunity here that will excite you. Somebody may be offering you something that excites you. This world card reversed is... I don't know if both these sides are yours or what. This is resisting. It's resisting change. Again, resisting a new beginning, staying in the present, lack of success... Uh, not learning a lesson, you know, and this is needing to learn a lesson. So we have somebody over here that may be refusing to learn a lesson. They are clinging to the present, needing a new life, needing, definitely needing a new path. Five of Swords. Oh my God, you you are dealing with a hostile situation. I believe. I really, I really do. I think you're dealing with a hostile situation with somebody. I feel like you're 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 fighting with somebody that is keeping you stuck. They're keeping you, um, and maybe even in a negative mindset. They're they're. Uh, They're causing you some sort of animosity. That's the way I feel. Whoever you're dealing with uh, likes to uh, fight with you. It feels like they like to fight with you. You know what I mean? They want to prove themselves. And you always got to prove yourselves to them. It's like you feel like you've got to prove yourself to this person constantly. And they like that. They, it's like they make you. They want to make you prove themselves. You know, yourself to them. It's like this person is constantly trying to make you prove them, prove yourself to them, whoever you're dealing with. There's fighting, you see, there's a marrying each other, there's fighting over money, there's fighting over money or fighting in the home, something like that. Um, things are going to change for the better. You may be forced to. Okay, this could be, this This could, the hangman can be when, there's punishment here. There could be some sort of punishment. There could be some sort of forced change here. This could be like forced out of a home. Moving. Okay, somebody may be forced out of a home. There is a new opportunity here though. But you, you have to, you can't fight it. You have to surrender. Don't fight this change. Surrender to it. Allow it. There's something better. This is a blessing. This is something fortunate. This is fortunate change. You may not see it as fortunate change and I don't think that you do. Uh, but it is fortunate change. Um, so for some of you it has to do with a change in residence. You're moving to a better place but you may not see it that way. Something didn't work out for a reason. It didn't work out for a reason, but I feel like you're you're not wanting to let it go, and you need to let it go. There's there's lacking um, goals here as well, and lacking responsibility. So you need to uh, think of yourself in the future and focus on the future. You know, focus on the future. You know what I'm saying? Plan for the future. And there is lack of planning for the future. You need to plan for the future. I'm not saying that's everybody. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't plan for the future. Um, you are definitely got somebody that likes to fight with you. And they, and they like, and it might be another fire sign. It's another fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. It could also be um, a Pisces. Uh, or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of separation from a, somebody that you have either been living with or you've been in a partnership with. We have the Two of Cups on the reversed on the bottom. So this is a separation of some sort. Um, things are going to get better. And you're, it feels like you're going to be forced. I feel like this is forced change. There's lack of success, but you have something that is better suited for you, which is interesting. I feel like you're struggling financially as well. I think that there, but something good is coming. I think you have been struggling financially. Okay, have been. That's what it looks like to me. But I think there is some sort of abundance or money that is coming. 
okay? With the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, it's like money is coming, okay? Um, or payoff of some sort, or maybe it's even an inheritance or something like that. Um, and I think, I don't know what, if it is an inheritance or some sort of somebody owes you some money or something like that, or maybe it's from a job, it's a severance pay or something like that. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like money is coming to you, um, that you, that you, you didn't think you were ever going to get. However that resonates with you, it comes out of nowhere because this is, um, at the right place at the right time, or it's, uh, an unfortunate accident that pays you, you know what I mean? There could, and I hate to say that, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a fortunate accident and in, in the upright and then accidents and maybe it's not even accident. It's some sort of fortune that's coming your way. It's something good that is coming your way. This may break you free from whatever it is that has been causing you so much upset. You've been in some sort of upset. There may even have been a loss of a job or something. If there was a loss of a job, you may be getting a new offer here that pays you more money. Just saying. Anyway, you're definitely... who I feel like you have been struggling financially and you've been struggling at home when, or who would have whoever you live with or in a romantic partnership or something. It's been very one-sided, and I think that you are about to receive an offer that really excites you. But it is going, you're going to struggle with this offer. I think you're going to struggle with this offer. Um, and I'm not sure why. Ten of Wands reversed. Now, the Ten of Wands reversed is making a change. Because it's a change, and you not must not like change, which is kind of odd for Sagittarius and if it's and if it's if it's not you it could be somebody that you're dealing with somebody here is needing to make a conscious change and this is to let go of baggage to let go of burden to let go of responsibilities to not carry things don't carry burdens you let them go don't hold grudges let it go there's there's constant battle here you're, you're dealing with somebody that wants to battle and prove constantly, whether it's you or them. Okay, so it's a constant power struggle. We have power struggles here between you and another person. It takes two to power struggle. So it, there is you power struggling with another person, which is in, interesting. But this is letting go, making a conscious change to find balance, which will include uh, letting go. Okay, letting go. This world card is reversed. You can't stay stuck. Okay, this chapter, this phase of your life is over. Whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to with the hangman, it's over. This is a very fortunate, forceful, whatever it is, letting go, release. I think that you're having a hard time letting it go, but the, it's like, I feel like it's the universe. Okay, these are both majors. Okay, I think the universe is saying, you know what? You've wasted enough time in this situation. You've you, This was a lesson that needed to learn of some sort. You've learned your lesson. It's time to go someplace else. Whatever your lesson was. And I think, what was your lesson? What was your lesson? Four of Cups. Now that's discontent. It has to do with staying someplace that... Oh, because this, I'm not interested... It feels like there's unhappiness here. It feels like you've been in a situation where you were ignored. You were ignored. Whoever you were dealing with ignored you. They weren't really interested in you. Maybe you had to learn your worth or your value or something. This is not interested. We have somebody here that is just not interested in... what you have to offer and I'm not sure if it has to do with a job or a relationship or whatnot. It feels like whoever you're dealing with has been interested in something else but you need to let them go. You need to let them go. This You can't reason with this person no matter what you do. 
You've been trying to reason with somebody that isn't interested. They're not interested in working with you by the looks of things. And I feel like you've been uh, like flogging a dead horse with this person. Trying really, really hard to get this person to even look at you and see your point of view. And no matter what you do, they're not going to. Anyhow, this Ten of Wands reversed is your balance is waiting. Free yourself. Free yourself. And I feel like you are going to be receiving an opportunity that that from somebody, an invite or an offer that gives you the opportunity to uh, build up your abundance or a home or live or whatever the case is someplace else. But you're not liking it at all because it's change. It's change. It is fortunate change, but I don't think you're seeing it that way. I see a lot of stubbornness here and wanting to prove your point. It's almost like you want to prove your point no matter what. To hell with proving your point. It's about being happy here, okay? Um, it's like you just want to stay put, but this phase is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's, over. it's time. It's time to release this. It's time to go someplace else. You don't got nothing left to prove. Stop proving yourself. You really don't have anything to prove to this person. You keep trying to prove something to somebody. And they love it. They love it. They do. They love that you. they have you wrapped. It's like they, they know that you're going to try to prove. Okay. They know that you are going to try to prove yourself to them. It's almost like... Um, What do you call this person? Um, this person is egotistical. They are egotistical. They are um, rude. They want to win at all costs. I mean, the Five of Swords is... Who the hell is this? They're, you can't negotiate. It's a bully. It's a bully. That's what it is. You're dealing with a bully. And they love it. They love it. They love the fact that... You know, they can get a rise out of you. That's the way I see it. They think it's funny. They do. I feel like they think it's funny. Because they, when, they, when they get a rise out of you, they've taken away some of your energy. They've taken away some of your power. Anyway, that world card reverse is no positive change will come because of too much resistance. What you resist persists. And I feel like you're, you need to accept and cut your losses and let go of whatever it is that you're trying to hang on to. Because you have a very fortunate opportunity for the better. Okay, this is moving in a new direction. This is moving in a positive direction once you free yourself from whatever this is that you're hanging on to. So I think this week you have been procrastinating, you have been delaying, you've been sitting on the fence, you've been thinking about it, you've been thinking about leaving this behind, you've been thinking about ending this chapter of your life, and I think there's going to be some sort of force, something happens per se, I feel like something, because these are both universe cards, it's like there's some sort of um, change. Okay, there's a forced change and it's a very positive change. And maybe, it, I don't know if it has to do with money. Maybe you were stuck or, and hanging on because of money. If that's the case, you know, there's some sort of, you may be getting some sort of money. Or keys to a new home. I don't know what that means. It feels like there could be keys to a new home for some of you. That's a spur of the moment decision, a choice, stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're going to need to make a choice this week. Do you stay or do you go? You are going to be given the opportunity to go someplace else. And you have to make a choice this week. Good luck.